Out there in the cold darkness between the stars, a lone traveler journeys onward. It is Voyager 1, a creation of human hands, a testament to our curiosity. Voyager moves farther from its home, the small blue world where it was born. It is now the most distant object we have ever built, sailing through the vast ocean of interstellar space. It carries the dreams of a species that dared to wonder what lies beyond. Voyager is a pioneer, an explorer, a messenger. It has left our solar system, crossing a boundary that exists only in the physics of space. The sun is now just the brightest point in a sea of countless others. Surrounded by the thin gas and dust between star systems, Voyager continues its silent, determined flight. This small machine, no bigger than a car, has traveled for nearly half a century. It has witnessed wonders, flown past giant worlds, and felt the solar wind at its back. Now, it is an emissary in unknown territory, utterly alone, billions of miles from home. Its journey is a story of endurance, a symbol of our relentless drive to explore. Voyager is our first tentative step into the galactic neighborhood, a silent testament to our cosmic dreams. The journey is taking its toll. Voyager 1 is old. Launched in 1977, its power is fading, like a candle burning down. NASA's engineers face tough choices, guardians of a priceless artifact, they must decide which parts of Voyager can be allowed to go dark so the rest can keep whispering back to us. Each instrument has a story, each shutdown is a final goodbye to a unique window on the universe. The team must act as cosmic surgeons, carefully choosing which functions to end to preserve Voyager's core mission, survive and report its position in the vast wilderness. Imagine the control room scientists and engineers debating which instrument to power down next, the power budget is unforgiving. The laws of physics do not negotiate. With every year, Voyager generates less electricity, forcing another painful choice. It's a slow, managed decline, a race against the inevitable dimming of the light. Voyager was built to last but not forever. Its slow fade is a drama playing out across unimaginable distance. The engineers are not just turning off switches, they're saying farewell to pieces of a dream that's been flying through space for longer than many of them have been alive. They are the stewards of a fading echo, doing everything they can to keep it from disappearing into the silence. Voyager's endurance is a testament to human ingenuity and care. Each time an instrument is shut down, Voyager loses one of its senses. The spacecraft was launched with 11 scientific instruments. Over the years, many have been powered off to conserve energy. The camera that gave us the pale blue dot went dark in 1990. Other instruments have also fallen silent. Engineers analyze power levels prioritizing the instruments most crucial for Voyager's current mission in interstellar space. Turning off a heater might save a few precious watts extending life for another year. It's a constant negotiation with entropy, first the luxuries go, then the non-essentials, until only what's needed to survive remains. Each shutdown marks the end of an era for a specific field of science. The remaining instruments are living on borrowed time. NASA's team has become incredibly creative, operating Voyager at colder temperatures than ever designed. But eventually there won't be enough power for even the basics. One by one, Voyager's senses will be extinguished, until only a faint heartbeat remains. What powers Voyager's journey? Not solar panels, sunlight is too weak out here. Voyager's heart is a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, or RTG, containing pellets of plutonium-238. As the plutonium decays it releases heat, converted directly into electricity. At launch Voyager's RTGs generated about 470 watts, but radioactive decay is relentless. The half-life of plutonium-238 is about 88 years, after that only half the original power remains. The spacecraft's energy supply dwindles by about 4 watts per year. This slow decay is both blessing and curse. It's allowed Voyager to operate for decades, but the decline is irreversible. The RTGs have been the faithful heart of the mission, powering instruments and data transmissions, but as power weakens, heaters must be turned off, straining components beyond their design. It's a testament to 1970s engineering that Voyager still functions at all. The weakening heartbeat of its nuclear clock dictates every decision. The team stretches every last watt to keep Voyager alive. The clock is ticking and the power will eventually run out. In the vast emptiness of space, silence is the norm. But for Voyager's team, silence is terrifying. In October 2024, that terror became real. Voyager's data stream stopped, 
For months, it transmitted only a carrier wave, alive, but the information was gibberish. NASA's engineers sprang into action diagnosing from 24 billion kilometers away. Every command took over 22 hours to reach Voyager, and another 22 for a reply. The problem was traced to a faulty memory chip in the flight data subsystem. A single flipped bit had corrupted the data stream. The solution? Slice up the affected code and store it in different memory locations, bypassing the broken section. It was like remote brain surgery across the solar system. After five months the plan worked. Voyager's voice returned. The relief was palpable. Contact was restored. The scare was a reminder of Voyager's fragility and resilience. Even after five decades the bond between creators and creation endures. Voyager 1's story began on September 5, 1977, launching from Florida atop a Titan rocket. Its mission, a grand tour of Jupiter and Saturn, made possible by a rare planetary alignment. In 1979 it flew past Jupiter, revealing the planet's turbulent atmosphere and discovering volcanoes on Io. A year later it reached Saturn, exploring its rings and the hazy atmosphere of Titan. After Saturn, Voyager's planetary mission ended, but its journey continued. In 1990 at Carl Sagan's request Voyager took the iconic pale blue dot photo, a humbling perspective of Earth. For decades it traveled outward, and in 2012 it crossed the heliopause entering interstellar space. Voyager became the first human-made object to leave the solar system. Every piece of data it sends now is a dispatch from an unknown land. Its journey is a continuous series of milestones, each pushing the boundary of exploration. Voyager's odyssey is a testament to human ambition. It is our eyes and ears in the great unknown. Attached to Voyager 1 is a special package, the Golden Record. This 12-inch gold-plated copper disc is a time capsule from Earth. It contains sounds and images to portray the diversity of life and culture on our planet. The contents were chosen by a committee led by Carl Sagan, 115 images, diagrams of DNA, photos of cities, and scenes of daily life. The record also holds natural sounds, wind, rain, birds, and greetings in 55 languages. There's music from Bach, Beethoven, Senegalese percussion, and Chuck Berry, a soundtrack of our world. The golden record may never be found but its purpose was as much for us as for any extraterrestrial. Creating it forced us to reflect on who we are and what we value. It represents our curiosity, creativity and hope. The golden record is a symbol of our shared humanity. It says, this is who we are. This is our world. We hope you are well. Voyager carries our message into the cosmic ocean. The day is coming when Voyager 1 will fall silent forever. Around 2036, its nuclear power will fade, and its final whisper will be lost in the universe. Our connection to our farthest messenger will end but Voyager's journey will continue. It will coast through the Milky Way for eons, a silent ghost ship on the currents of gravity. In 40,000 years, it will pass within 1.6 light years of another star. Voyager will likely outlast our species, and perhaps even our planet. It is our eternal ambassador, a piece of us traveling the galaxy long after we are gone. Voyager's legacy is written across the stars, a story of curiosity and the desire to see what's beyond the next planet. It taught us about our cosmic backyard, then became our first emissary to the space between stars. The spacecraft is a marvel, but its true significance is what it represents, the outward-looking spirit of humanity. When you look up at the night sky think of Voyager still flying still pushing into the unknown. The story of Voyager is our story, a species that looked up and decided not just to wonder but to go. In reaching for the stars, we find the best of what it means to be human.